warning. The game contains strong right Ah, oh, it didn't even let me read. What, what game are we going to be playing today? Well, Abe, that was close. Yeah, I almost don't flubbed it. Well, we are going to be playing one. Oh, of shit. Like, oh, man, no memory card. Wait, wait. Excuse me, folks. Hang on, we don't need to edit anything. I just got to do. Guess not. All right, retry. Anyways, How? we are going to be playing one of the best classic games on the GameCube. Classic remake. Yeah, Wait, let's, let's let the scary scene play out for the people. Oh, check it out. What is that? Is that a sack? Oh, what's happening? I'm scared. What's, oh, man. Are we going to die? Oh, it was a human being. What were you doing? That would have been funny. Anyways, we're going to be playing Resident Evil. Now, just so you know, this is the actual remake from the PlayStation 1. Um, this is actually an amazing remake, Resident if you ask me. Evil. So, let's get started. Yeah, this is a sexy remake for the GameCube. Not the not the remake that they put on the Wii. Guess so. Anyway, this actually tells you the difficulty. Mountain climbing is normal. Hiking, hiking is, is easy. Yeah, so yeah at first I thought mountain climbing was hard and I thought hiking was normal. Well, yeah, I've used common sense. Mountain climbing is harder. Yeah, well, now I know because the internet told me. I guess so. Oh, man, look at Chris. That's before he used steroids and got super strong in part five. Guess so. We're going to be playing a sexy Joe Valentine. Because We're gonna be playing. I'm gonna well, be doing. He, the Abe's gonna be playing. He's the one who's taking the controls on this one, because he's really good at it. Anyways, be quiet. There's a cutscene. Oh, sorry. Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you cover the mic, it still comes up. Anyway, we'll edit that point. Yeah, I know, you're gonna have to do that 3 2 1 shit again. Yeah. Three stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? 
Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. What a mansion. Tell me about it. <laughs> Look at Barry, what a beast using a magnum. Yeah. A dining. All right, folks, and sorry for that cutscene. I know it was probably disturbing and bloody and gory, whatever you want to call it. And pretty long. Anyways, uh, we are going to be playing as Jill Valentine. Another cutscene. What do you take know? Take a look at this. What is it? What? I hope it's not Chris's blood. Jill, Let's see if you can find any other clues. Maybe it is. Who knows? Examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Anyways, as the cutscene rudely disturbed me, we're going to be playing as Jill. Why? Because she has the ability to... Wait, wrong button. She has the ability to carry eight items, but when you play as Chris, you carry only six. And that kind of frustrates me, if you ask me. Yeah, it sucks. Anyway, I'm not going to be using the handgun that much because I don't really like using the handgun in this game. So, first step, you could get this shield. We're going to need it later, later on. What type oh. of emblem is it? Oh, maybe it's a fire emblem. Dun dun dun. Oh shit. Never mind, it's not a shield, it's an emblem. So, but yes. And if you ask me, I'm already creeped out. I remember the first time you told me that the doors opening in Resident Evil games that stood for loading. I laughed. Yeah, it is for loading. Oh, another scary cutscene. Yeah, it's one of the classic ones. Oh, that was scary. You see what I mean? Like, what happened to the Resident Evil franchise, man? See, this was scary. It was horror. But yeah. now these Resident Evil these days, they're just action and all that, man. Oh, yeah, this is a good strategy if you're Jill. You just run back into the room and you let Barry take care of this. Barry. Pretty much. What is it? Look out! It's a monster! It's a spooky monster. Let me take care of it! Throw your gun at him. Yeah, don't shoot him in the head or anything. Well, I guess they don't know that, so. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Yeah, let's go back to Wesker. Let's see what he can do about it. Probably nothing, because he was too busy putting Chris in a jail cell, as we'll see later on. <laughs> Holy shit. Whoa. What just happened? Some spooky shit just happened, that's what. I don't know, the zombie just went back to that room and... Yeah. Yeah, that's what I find scary. Oh. Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. But let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Yeah, Wesker got impatient and everything. <laughs> Don't try going out the front door. No, you gotta look for Wesker, remember? You gotta go around and then Barry's like, oh, we gotta split up. Oh yeah, that's right. What am I doing? I haven't played this game in a long... Wait, maybe you're wrong. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. Okay. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! 
I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Oh, sweet. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Thor, listen to me carefully. Let me ask you something. If you're in a horror environment, would you want to stick together or do you want to split up? Split up, of course. That way we could easily get killed off without the other person knowing. Yeah, I guess that's... Yeah, I guess that works out better. I guess. Anyways, um... Like I was saying, since I was rudely interrupted by that cutscene, welcome to Let's Play Resident, Resident Evil for the GameCube. Or as people, as the fans like to call it, uh, R E make or remake because Resident Evil re R E. Yeah, 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 yeah. It. yeah Shut yeah. up. Anyway, so, yeah. we're gonna get this first key item here, which is a map of the first floor, I think. Oh, who needs a map? <laughs> you do, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna get it for just for the heck of it. Oh, Got take it. Man, these are some good ass maps. Yeah, pretty much. You got the map of Mansion F1. <laughs> What's in here? Some scary shit. That's what's in mm -hmm. there. There. Oh, what's this? You got the dagger. No, I'm just gonna get it because it's shiny. Yeah, how to use it? No one cares. So yeah, this defense. Uh, that dagger is pretty much. You could call it as hit points. It's an extra hit point, basically. Yeah, since the zombies are gonna get you, you automatically defend yourself with a dagger. So. And we're gonna see the first Wait, example what? of that because the game does it for you. Oh, oh right, Damn right. It, I forgot Joe. about that. Oh no! Better quit my handgun. Uh, uh. Aim at the head. No! Get off me! Don't worry, your knife will save you. And we did it. Yep, pretty much. Wait, is he dead? I think so. Oh no, he's not. No. Now, he now is. he's dead. Drop some bullets. Oh wait, this is an RE4. Why do zombies? Why would zombies carry bullets? It doesn't make sense. It does an RE4. All right, now we can get the hell out of this game. I don't think there's zombies oh. in RE4. Oh, okay. I think we have to find a key. Oh, that's right. You gotta go to where you were heading up the stairs. Yeah, that's right. I wish I could skip loading times, but this game is so powerful we can't do that. Well, you can't skip loading times in the DS version if you ask me. Yeah, that's true. I should play it alongside and see if we could both beat it at the same time. Yeah, I guess so. Now, yeah, it's not that noticeable, guys. This is actually a door that actually leads to a graveyard, if you ask me. Yeah, in the original version, this there wasn't a backyard like this. This is completely oh. for the remake. You could just skip them, you know that? Yeah, pretty much. Just go around him. Oh, you could do that. Yeah, I guess I'll do that better. Eh. You did it. How in the wait is he dead? Just go. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I mean, I just like killing zombies and wasting bullets. Look at that shit. Save one for yourself. Don't yeah. forget. Okay. Eh. You fucking <laughs> idiot. Hey, I took him down. No. Hurry up before that guy comes to life. Hurry up, go down there and grab. Oh yeah, shit. that's right. Um. Folks, oh, if you you're need gonna... an arrowhead. Oh wait, yeah, that's right. I need an arrowhead. Good job wasting all your bullets. Oh well, there's no need for me to equip it no more then. Rules of nature. No wait, I'm gonna look like a. I'm gonna look so awesome with a knife. Oh, the knife is such bullshit in every single game. Screw that. <laughs> the only game where the knife is useful is uh, Code Veronica, where you can actually kill zombies with a knife. Oh, I never knew that. I saw a Let's Play of it on YouTube, and the guy's like, "Yeah, pro tip, blah blah," and he shows you he shows you killing zombies with a knife. I haven't played Code Veronica yet, so neither have I. Yeah. Now I did forget to ask you, uh, tell you folks, um, don't get into the habit of killing zombies in this game because if you kill them later on in the game, they're gonna come back as spoilers. Crimson heads. Yeah. You'll see when we get there. You'll pretty much see. It's you're gonna see. So let's go back into this room. No, it's not that way. It's, Whoa! Which way that zombie was? That's too dark. Change the brightness on the TV. Yeah, let's change it. All right, brightness, brightness adjustments. Adjust. Oh wait, B. 
Oh, wait. How do you do this thing? Go to the next one. Oh, there we go. Okay. There. Can I see now? Yeah. Whoa! Run, oh, boy. Fucker, just go into that room. Yeah, I guess so. Look, he's got a thing. Ooh, it's a VHS. Yeah, it's not like... It's not like there's, like, a key item or anything. It's really ah. dumb. I mean, later on, you get you find a thing so you could look at it, and it's just like, Oh, I'm scared. Oh, a zombie killed me. The end. It's like a 30-second clip. It's not that great. Check that out. Oh, there's bullets right there. Oh, right. Look at that. Shiny. Will you take the handgun magazine? Oh, sorry. It's not a really. magazine. Don't forget the herbs. All right. You got to combine it. Or you could do the cool guy. Reloading. <laughs> Will you take the green herb? I never understood the logic of herbs. I mean, I know they're healthy in real life, but I never knew it could, like, heal you from a zombie bite or something. Yeah, the story is that those herbs only grow in, like, this area of the mountain, and that's why they built their research bullshit around here. Ooh, yeah. So it doesn't make sense in, like, the later Resident Evils that don't take place here or Raccoon City, why there's, like, herbs everywhere. Ooh, you've been studying. Ooh. Another herb. Now, the maximum herbs you can combine is actually three herbs. If you combine three herbs, you heal fully. Wow. Watch out, don't get spooked. Remember. Whoa! Okay, let me see if I can pass this guy. No! Sure, you did it. No, I've been bitten. I'm gonna turn into a zombie. That's how it would normally work. There's yeah, but the in the game, it, it's not like that, so. Remember that mirror. See, look, what there's mirror? a guy right there. There's a guy, or is it a zombie? Same shit. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay. Watch out, idiot. No! Wow, this plate is over. No! <laughs> Get away from me! Yeah, we did it. Hey, Jill. You want a pro tip? Just shoot the handle. It's not your house. There's one zombie up there. Yeah, I see. Oh, it. look at thing. Oh, look is that, that a knife? Thing. Yes, it is. Oh, it wait, looks like you I need a danger? herb. I'm in caution. Yeah, you're in red caution. Yeah, it's good. Oh, examine the arrow while you're at it. Right. Now we can look at it. Oh, look at that. The and arrowhead. Now, if you ask me, folks, it is spooky. When you're on, like, on the menu, the item selection screen, especially the sound effects, it sounds spooky. Yeah, the like music. That. The spooky music keeps going. See, that's how Resident Evil should stay that way. Yes. Even though RE4 was good. Yeah, RE4 was. But it had a little bit of horror, if you ask me. Yeah, the. What do you call them? Regenerators? Yeah, pretty much. Wait. Oh, look at that. The zombie I killed is gone. Yeah, that's what's. What, when I first played this, that was super scary. Will you just hurry up and put that fucking shit in there already and stop wasting ammo? Okay, but I, I want to be a hero here. No, fuck off. Now I'm okay. so angry, I forgot oh, yeah, what I was fine. saying. Oh yeah, like the first time I played this game and I killed a zombie and then I came back to that area and the body was gone. That was some scary shit. You could say that. Look at this. What is this, Silent Hill? You got stairs going forever over here. Well, I haven't played Silent Hill that much, so... I have. Ooh, a book. Will you take the book of curse? Ooh, am I gonna be cursed by if I read it? Let's yes. find out. Let's open it. No, you don't need to open it. You look at the back. Oh, okay. And look at that, it's a key. Is it a real key? Yes, it is. Now I can read the book. Book of curse. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, just pause it if you want to read it. <laughs> it's talking about masks. Check it out. Yeah, right, there should be an option in Resident Evil. Oh no, it's waiting for me! Go, 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 go! Yeah, you yeah, missed! did it. Now to never come back to this area ever again. Just just a hint, guys. There's something... I know there's something back here. Yep, I knew it. Shotgun Oh, shots. you mean you get a shotgun in this game? I didn't know that. Nah, you just stick with a handgun and a knife. So, I'm just picking it up just for the heck of it. Of course you get a shotgun, you doink. I thought only Chris got it, because in part two, it depends who you pick, they get a good weapon. 
Yeah, I guess That's so. why you should play as Leon, because fuck Claire. I mean, Claire's alright, if you ask me. She has a motorcycle. Alright, what do I do? Oh, yeah. Now you got the mention key, you could open that door you couldn't open right there on, the, on your left. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Get in there. These are the most realistic door opening sound effects I ever heard. Whoa, some scary ass music just started. I like that, I like that. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Now, if I remember correctly, there are like some of these furnitures you could push. And yep. they have stuff under them. Oh, sweet, a dagger. I'm just gonna pick it up because it's shiny. Whoa! What was that? What was that? Nothing. Run. Okay. <laughs> oh, that you can move that one too. Okay. And what do we get here? Nothing. Oh, okay. Oh, magazines. A magazine. Why would I want to read a magazine at this time of hour? I wonder what ending we'll get. Guess so. Whoa. Hmm. Oh boy. Don't you Push. need to? Okay. Oh, look at that. What do Which we got? door is that? I gotta remember. Well, it's metallic, so. Oh, oh look, you're going a... outside. Okay. Oh, Whoa! That's where you get I, the? I hear the dog. Just hurry something. up and grab the freaking bag of weed and let's get out of here. Bag of weed. <laughs> Just so you know, Thor's a pothead if you ask me. No, I'm not. Oh. Okay. Hurry up for that dog jumps your ass. And now we can't get it. How could he jump me? He's behind the gate. He can jump pretty high. I've seen a dog in real life jump a gate. It's some spooky shit. Okay. Even if it wasn't a zombie dog, it was just a regular dog. Ooh, a bag of chemicals. Alright, alright. We're gonna need that for later. Alright. Alright. Oh, is that the bathroom? Alright, let's go see Gotta what's pay. in here. <laughs> uh, I gotta take a dump. Yeah, Joe yeah. had Taco Bell before this mission. Yeah, I guess so. It's full of dirty water. We move the. Fine, let's go for it. Oh, something scary is gonna happen. <laughs> Whoa! Hi there. Well, this guy was taking a shower with his clothes on before he died. Okay, does this mean I have to fight it? No, don't want to touch you. Or maybe not. Why, wow, crush the skull. Yeah. Okay, she pukes. Oh, another dagger. Oh, look at that. Is Joe pregnant? Is that why she pukes? Yeah, morning sickness. Uh oh. Just like my fan fictions. No offense, ladies. I mean, just making a joke here. Uh, ladies aren't watching this. Who knows? Maybe some this of them are. too scary for women. Viewer discretion is advised. Don't listen to Thor. He's an idiot. So. No, he's not. He's so smart. Not really. Okay. Check mm. your map. Yeah, let's see what we got for the map. Uh, where does that lead? Let's find out. Alrighty. Okay, let's try this door here. Oh shit, hurry up. I heard a scary sound. <laughs> Spooky. This game is great. I wish it was October. Watch out for that Zambambo. Whoa! <laughs> I I'm going in there! Screw it! <laughs> Yeah, take your time, Joe. Now we can put away all this bullshit. Oh, sweet. Sanctuary. My sanctuary. Alright, let's... We'll be needing that knife. Hell no. What else? Ah, oh, the shotgun shells, I guess. Yeah. Wait, the chemicals? Not yet. I know, I know there's a way to get the shotgun early when it comes to Jill. Yeah, it's in um, the room upstairs, right? I think so. But I'll find out. 
Uh, you don't need the shield. Since I'm gonna get the shotgun, might as well. Okay. But okay. Oh, what else? No, hey, wait. What? There's hey, ammo right there. Grab that ammo that Barry left on the on the boxes. Ah, uh, yes, alcohol. Time to drink. Oh, sweet. It's time to party. Well, if Joe gets the grenade launcher, she doesn't really need it. The fuel canteen. <laughs> Well, either way, the fuel canteen, I don't use it that much. Um, just so you know, the fuel canteen is pretty much just to refill it with gasoline. So you can burn dead zombies so they don't come back as, uh, you know. Why do you always have to take the credit? I'm the one explaining here. Rule I'm the one major. with the controller here. Yeah, anyways, yeah, just to burn the dead bodies so they won't come back There's to life. There's bullets right there on that lantern. Bullets, okay. Uh, get. Okay. Cut it. Okay. Wait, what? Special instructions when disposing dead bodies. Yeah, pretty much the canteen. Yeah, just burn some zombies. Yeah. Or blow their heads off. Yeah, blowing their head off, that works. There's no bullet use, you liar. I was thinking of some now, so you're gonna save the gum? Yes. Anyway, that's the end for part one. I Hopefully you enjoyed the Let's Play on the Resident Evil. And don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for part two. So, take care. Take care. Peoples. Nobody cares about you, Thor. Fuck. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs>